Your only, your mother, a patriot. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you tweeted again about the economy. I mean, you can go back and look at the headline. It's called sluggish now under Biden, and right. under Trump, it's called economy revs up or whatever, as you said, right? And and it, oh, actually, you said the economy added five hundred thirty thousand jobs a month. The NBC Nightly News didn't cover it when the economy <laughs> added a disappointing two hundred twenty thousand jobs in yeah. November. It was the third story on NBC yeah. Nightly News. Yeah. No, I mean, you know, the press c- keeps trying to dodge this accusation that, that that there's a that there isn't a double standard that they're not going after Biden for you know ticky tack stuff, but. You know, the evidence is overwhelming. Dana Milbank obviously had a piece over the weekend a lot of people are talking about. <laughs> I've already mentioned it. I Like, Eric Bollert and I are not taking <laughs> crazy yeah, pills. Yeah, no. <laughs> and, uh, and the response, you know, the, everyone should read it. Very interesting piece. Almost as interesting was the response on Twitter. And, you, know, you know, all these reporters, you know, came, came after him. Oh, you know, it's not true. And there was Democratic infighting in November, and that's why they got bad press. And, and the point is, the, the point he and I and other so many people are making, it's not like, you know, if 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 Trump had been a John McCain president and you would say, well, Biden's got the same kind of coverage as, as as Trump did, you'd say, oh, OK, he was a fascist. He is a fascist. Yeah. He's a pathological liar. He's trying to destroy democracy in this country. It's not a defense to say, well, Biden and Trump got the same coverage, so we're doing our job. No, you're yeah. not. That's not the same thing. Yeah. We are through the looking glass well, here. Well, just meet the press yesterday. I can't. Chuck Todd, like, Americans are divided on everything from gun control to abortion rights. No, they're not divided. <laughs> right? It's like, you know, you're, they're taking things where 70% of the American public feel one yeah. way and 30 the other, yep. and that's Americans are divided, right? No, yeah. Uh, the, the last poll I saw last week, 26% won Roe v. Way overturned. Uh, if, if Democrats, the entire social agenda was based on an initiative that three quarters of the country did not, oh my God, you, all you would hear about how it was political suicide, but Republicans do it and we're divided, you know, just like we're divided on things like that. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm glad more and more people are talking about this crazy, you know, double standard for buying, particularly on the economy, to particularly on the recovery. Uh, you know, they they went all in on inflation. And then last week they tried to add, jo- you know, that jobs report, you know, they tried yes. to start spinning that as awful news. Uh, it's the to the credit, New York Times had a really good piece on Saturday saying, look beyond the 210,000 right. jobs number. Everything else is good news. Everything else suggests yeah. this this economy is right where it ought to be. If you're rooting for it, if yeah. you're rooting against it, <laughs> I know like the Republican well, Party let me, is let me, if you're rooting for covid let like me the just, Republican Party is, you know, you yeah. come away with a different you come away with a different but Eric, uh, conclusion. You mentioned, you know, you referenced Dana Milbeck's piece, and I think it's important for people to understand. He just, he says, the sampling ahead time headlines atop Politico. Biden triumphs sure. to calm nerves about 2024. The case for Biden, why Biden is screwed. Even the extraordinary news the jobless claim had dropped to the lowest level in 52 years came with a qualifier, but, but, but. Don't expect the numbers to immediately change Americans' negative perceptions of the economy. And he says, my impression of other outlets' coverage of Biden has been much the same unrelentingly negative artificial intelligence intelligence can now measure negativity with precision so this is what he did right so yeah. that he went he at his request they went through data they combed through more than 200,000 articles the network cable news all that stuff that you sometimes do to really mm-hmm. quantitate it rated the coverage Biden received in the first 11 months of 2021 and the coverage Trump got in the first 11 months um, the findings painstakingly assembled confirm my fear my colleagues in the media are serving as accessories to the murder of democracy and that's really where we're going, as you say every week, with both sides do it journalism. Yeah, yeah, and 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 uh, and uh, you know, I repeat my point. So it's he's not saying we're not saying, gee, we're upset because a Democrat got worse coverage than a Republican, and we think Democrats are better, so they should get better coverage. It's not that. 
it's it, it, we're saying this is a pro-democracy president who's getting worse coverage than an anti-democracy president right someone who is trying to tear this country apart right trying to destroy free and fair elections who is a racist who is a pathological liar who's likely mentally unstable you cannot uh you know that's the gaping gap that's why uh this is so troubling uh, and, 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 you know, Dana Milbank was on CNN this morning and you and I have talked about it. It all turned on Afghanistan. Uh, that's when the coverage kind of lost connection with reality and the press isn't interested in ever going back. They, they like this crisis. They like this panic. They like inflation. They like supply chain. They like all of this because they think it's generating drama and therefore it's generating clicks and ratings.